Hi everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie Colours. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am here with a fun little video um, showcasing some of my favourite autumn, fall, Halloween-y type pages. Um, some of them are books that are strictly dedicated to autumn. I don't have too many of those actually, but some, most of them are books that have everything in them, but there's lots of fun kind of autumn, fall pages inside. Of course, you can turn any page into an autumn page if you really want to, just by changing the color palette up. But these are just some of my favorites, and I thought this was a fun little video to do. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I'm starting with this cute little book. This is Nuno Therapy by Diane Dufour in collaboration with Art Therapy. And this book, unlike her other one, which I'm going to show you in a second, kind of has four type pages scattered throughout the book. So there's no kind of section that's strictly dedicated to autumn but within the book there are tons of fun little pages like look this little halloween kind of costume scene here um so there's lots of pages in here which would work you could turn something like this into a full page just by changing up the color palette um but there's yeah there's lots of really fun cute little pages in this book I've only done one page in this book, um, which is really sad because it's so, so cute uh, and I just love it. So I'm hoping to change that. Um, it's just gorgeous. The paper is really nice quality. It's nice and thick. It takes watercolour pretty well if you wanted to use watercolour mediums. Um, and it's just, it's just gorgeous. So little teddy bears on every page. And like I say, lots and lots of seasonal pages in here. Here's that bear again with the kind of acorn wreath. I think that's so cute. Um, there's lots of kind of wintry pages as well, but I mean, this would be fun, like a cozy kind of indoor scene. Um, there's lots of really, really cute ones. This one would make a great kind of autumn scene for being indoors. I like this one with the little teapots and teacups. So, so cute. Um, but yeah, a really, really gorgeous book. This one with the mushrooms. Mushrooms always make me think of autumn. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know if mushrooms are strictly an autumn thing. I have no idea, actually. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few in here. And it's just so cute. A very, very cute book. Um, so I had to add this one to the list because oh, I just really like it. And now I'm flicking through it and I'm thinking, oh, I need to touch this book again. I need to do something in it. So that is one, um, Nuno Therapy by Diane Dufour. Then I also, of course, have Vol de Poire, which is the Fur Balls book. And this one has a whole section that's dedicated to autumn. Is it right at the start? Yeah, so it's the start. The first few pages are all autumn pages. So it starts with the squirrel. And you've got the girl with her umbrella and the cat. Um, and it's just... Isn't this cute? That's gorgeous. I like that one. Um, I know this one is one of the ones that's been done by the... Is it hosted by Amanda Colors? I'm not sure. Amanda Colors and Colourful Diary. Colourful Diary and Lavella's Colouring. I can't remember. I'm so sorry. I'll put it in the description below. Um, but they're doing a kind of full book colour along type thing using a hashtag for this, which I think is hashtag AC, no, hashtag colourful diary de or something like that. I will find it and put it in the description. I'm so sorry. It completely gone out of my head. Um, I did a couple of pages for this, but this is the one that they're doing for September, which is really, really cute. Look at this with the falling leaves outside. Um, yeah, like I say, there's a whole section in this. Look at this one. It'd be fun for Halloween. Um, and they're all just gorgeous. Got more pumpkins. You've got little hedgehogs and leaves. Um, so really, really, really cute, gorgeous pages. And I just love it. I think it's adorable. Um, I haven't done anything in that whole section. I've only done a couple of pages in this book at all. So I need to change that as well. Um, but yeah, really, really lovely little book. So that's the whole front section of Bull de Poix. Then this one, I'm gonna have to zoom you out slightly. There we go. 
bear with me, my big stack of books to the side here. Uh, so this one is Witch Season by Jana Prosperina. And I have only done one page in this, which I did last October. Where is it gone? There it is. So I did this one last October and really love how it turned out. But this whole book is really gorgeous, full of witches, obviously. Um, but just really beautiful autumn pages. Um, and I really want to do another one in this one as well this season because they're so pretty. I love Yana Prosperina's artwork. Um, yeah, just really beautiful pages. And you can use alcohol markers in here because it is single sided. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. I love this page. I'm always afraid to touch this page though because it's, I think it's one of my favorites in the book. Um, but yeah, they, they are really, really lovely pages. So I love using alcohol markers in here and then just doing a bit of pencil shading, which is what I did for this page here. Um, I love the way that turned out. So that's another one, Witch Season by Jana Prosperina. Then I have two new to me books, which I haven't touched because they are pretty much brand new to me, but The Fairy Touch of Magic by Clara Markova. Um, I know these books are rather pricey, um, but I mean, look at that, it's <laughs> so cute. Um, a lot of the pages in here, you can turn into kind of halloween -y pages. There's all sorts of seasons in here though. Um, I think the Halloween-y, no, I say halloween -y, not halloween -y, but autumn, um, not just Halloween. So you've got like this one with the kind of gourd house. <laughs> I think that's so cool. Uh, and a little kind of like witchy mouse. Uh, well, he's a bat, isn't he? He's got bat wings and the witchy cat. Um, You've got kind of this one, this one with the pumpkin and the cat riding the broomstick. I think that's really, really cute. I don't know what they've got there, like some kind of, is it a dessert with berries in it? Don't know. Uh, this little one with the bat doing some needlework. I think that's really cute. But yeah, there's lots in here that I think this, you've got this double page spread, which is kind of like a, um, a real good one for Halloween. You've kind of got like a, looks like a graveyard and um, yeah, all these pumpkins and gourds and this kind of skeleton bride in here. Um, that's a really cool one. But yeah, a lot of the pages in here are quite seasonal. So you can definitely find some more autumn kind of ones. Look at that one as well. Look at that, isn't that cute? Um, so yeah, I haven't done anything in this book, but I'm hoping that I can get to it soon. It's very detailed pages, but they're so cute. So that one is Fairy Touch of Magic by Clara Markova. I then have A Little Secrets from My Fairy House, again by Clara Markova, and again, another untouched one because I only recently got it. But again, there's kind of like, um, I find it now, like a bit of a fall kind of section in the book. Uh, there's more Christmas. Um, but again, there's quite a few seasonal type pages in here. More Christmassy stuff. Um, but something like this with, excuse the plane going overhead, with the kind of mushrooms. I always, mushrooms, like I say, mushrooms, toadstools always make me think of fall, autumn time. Um, you've got the apples here, which would be great for like a September page. Um, the little hedgehogs again, hedgehogs, toadstools, the leaves always make me think of autumn. Um, yeah, some so some really fun kind of seasonal looking pages in here. But again, you could pretty much turn anything, like this one I think is awesome for autumn. Uh, you can pretty much turn any page into an autumn page, but I think there are some definite kind of seasonal pages in here. So that one is Little Secrets from My Fairy House by Clara Makova. Then we have a couple of Lulu Mayo books. So I will see you back in again slightly. This one is Million Magical Creatures. And there's a few kind of, um, well, there's quite a few in here really that you could turn into autumn pages very easily. I always think this one, um, 
with the moon and the kind of wolf playing his guitar here. I always think this would look amazing in an autumn colour palette. You've got kind of like these foxy creatures around the outside as well. So I th always think kind of right warm browns, reds, oranges would look great on this page. Um, I've got a couple that I have already coloured. So you've got this pumpkin face, which is really cute. You've got this, sorry, I've got that in there. There's a witch riding her broomstick, which is a page I've already done, but I think that's one so fun for October, Halloween -y time. Then there are just tons in here. These two pages, again, one I've coloured already, but they always make me think of kind of like an autumn colour palette when I look at these. That kind of like warm, rich colour palette. Um, and then there are a couple more which I was thinking of in this book. If I can find them. I should have marked them, shouldn't I? Sorry. Um, again, because it's a toadstool, <laughs> you could really make this any season page because of all the flowers and everything in it. But it's got a big toadstool, which always makes me think of autumn. And again, this one, I don't know why. I think it's because it's got this kind of wolfy guy in it. Um, it kind of just gives me autumn vibes. But these are the other two pages I was really thinking of with the witches on them. Again, really good fun ones for Halloween kind of um, pages. And I think it's so cute. I love the little pumpkins around the witch's hat here. I think it's so cool. But yeah, there's quite a few in this book and definitely others that I haven't shown you, but yeah, like I say, plenty in that one. So that's A Million Magical Creatures by Lulu Mayo. Then of course it couldn't be autumn without A, a Million Little Monsters by Lulu Mayo. This is a, just a great one for Halloween. Um, lots of monsters and kind of fun magical creatures again it could be any time of the year but there are a lot of pages like this one in particular which gives me real kind of Halloween autumn vibes so plenty to choose from in this book lots of bats in this book I did this one last no I didn't I did it in February <laughs> I'd say I did it in, in um, October but again very very um kind of fun Halloween pages, fun autumn pages. This one always really makes me think of an autumnal colour palette. Again, I'm thinking like warm, rich oranges and yellows and browns. It just kind of screams those colour palettes to me. I think this one would be really fun for Halloween. Look at this little pumpkin. That's <laughs> so cute. Um, but yeah, there's tons in this book that, you know, are just screaming out October Halloween kind of time um, and a lot of them that kind of scream out autumn and fall to me but that is A Million Little Monsters by Lulu Mayo. Okay then I have a Strictly Autumn book this is Mine Herbst Spizer Gang by Rita Berman. No idea if I'm saying that right but it basically translates to my um, Autumn Walk by Rita Berman and it's an entire book that's literally dedicated to autumn pages. So we've got all sorts of things, wreaths and birds and landscapes and some smaller kind of small victory type pages, owls, just tons and tons and tons of options for autumn. Lots of pumpkins, lots of mushrooms. Um, I have to say that these season books are not my favourite by Rita Berman. I haven't done anything in this book, I should say. They're not my favourites, but there's enough pages in them that I really do like that I would like that I want the books. But um, I don't love every single page in here, I've got to admit. Some of them, like these ones, I, I'm really not that drawn to. I've actually tagged a couple in here that I was hoping to get to. I haven't yet. Um, but yeah, there are lots and lots of really good autumn pages in it, this book, obviously, because it's an autumn book. <laughs> but yeah, some really lovely landscapes, which would be fun to do. I just really don't like all these kind of pattern pages, and there's quite a few of them in these season books, I find. But yes, that is Mine Herbst Spizer Gang by Rita Berman.
Then I have Rita Berman's Divelt under De Lupa Zooland, which is the land under the microscope book. And again, there's almost like a whole section dedicated to kind of autumn type pages. So I've done a few in this book, but not loads. So this, these two, I think like with the berries, I don't know why, it just always reminds me of late summer, early autumn. Um, the squirrels and the acorn houses, which I think is just gorgeous. I think this would be a beautiful autumn spread to do. Uh, you've got this lovely wreath with the acorns and the leaves and things in it, which I think is beautiful. This kind of more wallpapery page. This one, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Look at all that detail in it. It'd be so fun to colour. Um, I don't know when I'll get to this one, but look at him. Isn't he just darling? I love him. Um, leaves, you've got lots of leaves. And then you're kind of getting more back into the summer kind of stuff over here. But again, any page really, I think always think this one would be a, um, a really nice, autumn page again because it's got a big toad still in it but I can always imagine this one done in really warm um, tones like autumnal kind of tones so yeah lots in this book as well and it's such a beautiful book I love this one um, again you've kind of you could go any season with this page but you've got the fox you've got the toadstools you've got the owl you've got kind of a squirrel all of those animals always make me think of autumn <laughs> so I kind of feel like this could work in an autumn palette as well um, and then I have seen this one colored in autumnal um, colors as well with kind of yellow and orange leaves um, so that one would work for sure too but yeah there's loads in this book and I love this book this is Rita Berman's Dive Out Under Lu De Lupa Zulandi forgive my pronunciation I have no idea if I'm saying that right Okay, this one, um, I love Kanoko Agusa's work and I think a lot of her books could work for autumn pages, but this is my favourite and I, um, I have, there are quite a few in here, let me just zoom you out ever so slightly, try and squeeze it all in. Um, so again, there's quite a few, let me see, there's some other, there's lots of kind of seasonal pages in here. But I always think of these pages. So we have the cat in the basket of knitting. We've got the little rabbits cozy inside doing their stitching. Um, a few kind of more wintry pages for sure. Lots of kind of Christmassy, wintry themed pages. And then we've got a few more. So we've got this one with the kind of animals and the teepee and the mushrooms and toadstools and very autumnal to me this one with the kind of coffee and the pastries um again very kind of cozy vibes i get from that one you've got this one with the um cats and the apples again kind of late summer early autumn for me this one this one same kind of thing you've got the apples but look at this little hedgehog so cute <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's quite a few in here. You've got this amazing, I've got a bit of bleed through from my other page. I'm hoping I can cover that up. But you've got this beautiful double page Halloween feast spread. Look at all the animals dressed up in their Halloween gear. It's so cute. That would take some work though, wouldn't it? I, I'm really disappointed. The paper's it's not quite there in this book. Um, this one, which I have already done, but look at all those pumpkins and the little mice. They look like they're kind of stirring up some sort of magical potion. This one with the cat and the pumpkin, which I think is so cute. Then you've got kind of a bit of a, a floral scene. So this could be any time of the year, but again, I can um, picture it in kind of autumn colors. And the horse with this kind of wheat, almost looks like wheat mane. Uh, I think that would be kind of cool. You've got the the animals are flying on the broomstick, which is just so fun. I love that one. And that's kind of the majority of the kind of really obvious um, Halloween pages, or, or not Halloween, autumn pages. Um, but again, it's a book where you could really go to town and colour any page you wanted. 
This is another one with the deer and the toadstools. So there is a few others scattered throughout as well, but there's kind of an entire section that's really screams autumn Halloween. This one as well, I think would just be beautiful. Look at that, so cute. Um, so I love this book, Symphony of Cute Animals by Kanoko Agusa. <clears throat> Excuse me, another one that I haven't done a great deal in is Enchanted Forest by Johanna Basford. Um, this one I've had for a long time, but most of the pages in here, just again, because there's lots of toadstools, there's lots of leaves. Um, yeah, it just kind of like, I don't know. <clears throat> it really makes me think of autumn, particularly a page like this. I know it's kind of like a little small victories page, but you've got acorns, you've got toadstools, you've got kind of leaves of different shapes and sizes, and you could go crazy with that one with nice autumn colors. Um, this one is one that always makes me think of warm autumn colors as well. But yeah, there's lots in this book. The animals that are made out of leaves. I just think it's really, really cool. And I really haven't done much in here and I need to get back to it. It's one that I started years ago, like years and years ago, which I really need to go back and try and fix up and tidy up. I don't love it, but I have used autumn kind of colors on that one. So yeah, plenty in this book. So that's Enchanted Forest by Johanna Basford. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a frog in my throat this morning. Okay, this is Tales from the Forest Kingdom by Hannah Carlson. I'm not gonna try and attempt to, <laughs> attempt to translate that because I have no idea. I have just finished a page in this book. Um, but again, it's a book that pretty much every single page would make a great kind of autumn seasonal page if you wanted to do it that way. Just beautiful images. I absolutely love this one. I'm so glad that I finally got a page done in here. Um, I'm going to quickly flick through that because it's a bit of a surprise one that I'm going to show in my finished pages. But look at this. Um, I love this one. I have tagged it. Um, I really like this one. I think that would be lovely in, again, those oranges and yellows and browns, uh, nice rich autumn colours, but pretty much everything in here really kind of shouts autumn to me. <laughs> so this one as well I've tagged. I think this one's so cute. I've seen this one done a number of times um, and it's just always beautiful. So yeah, lovely, lovely book and lots and lots of fall type pages. So that is Tales from the Forest Kingdom by Hannah Carlson. Then of course I have Tales from the Witch's Cottage by Hannah Carlson. Again, another one that, that pretty much every single page kind of screams out autumn fall to me. Um, you can of course do them any time of the year, but lots of great Halloween pages, lots of great autumn pages, just yeah, everything in general <laughs> in here. And I have got one marked I'm doing as a buddy colour, not that one. Uh, I have got one mark for a buddy colour for next month. Not that one either. I haven't marked oh, this, this one I'm going to be doing. So I'm definitely going to be doing that one. But yeah, it's an untouched book for me at the moment. So I'm really looking forward to getting a page done in here. But absolutely lovely book and lots and lots of choices for autumn pages. So that is Tales from the Witch's Cottage by Hannah Carzon. And my final kind of... Book. I've got pencils rolling across my desk. My final um, kind of definite for this kind of favourite autumn books is Seasons by Hannah Calzon. Again, an untouched book for me, so I really need to change that. But again, it's one with an entire section dedicated to autumn. Let me find where it starts. So it starts from this autumn winds page and then you've got a whole section of beautiful beautiful autumn inspired pages just love it um yeah every time i flick through this book i just absolutely love looking at the artwork um and i just get blown away by it and feel a little bit overwhelmed i've got a couple marked in here um yeah I, I don't know, <laughs> I love looking at it. Look at this, isn't that beautiful? It's just stunning and I, I just, yeah, completely intimidates me. 
um, but just beautiful pages. I love this as well. And this one is so gorgeous. You've got your witch here, which would be a great one for Halloween and the witch's cat on the other side. Just beautiful. Uh, a couple of kind of more underwatery ones. love again toadstool houses a little kind of cloche with the toadstools inside and that's the end of the autumn section but again isn't she beautiful so lots and lots of options in hannah carlson's books again you know you could go through a lot of i know a lot of my maria trolley books have lots of autumnal pages in them as well so so many options I really hope I can get some more done because I feel bad that I have hardly any done. Um, and yeah, I really want to do something in these beautiful books. I just love them. This one, I have no idea what... Um, I think this is the Dutch edition I've got here. So um, it's really lovely paper. <laughs> I really like it. But yeah, so that is a little kind of glance at some of my favourite autumn books. Um, there are others. I would have been here all day if I'd sat down with every single book. Um, but these are kind of some of my favourites that I've pulled out. And I'm probably not going to get to all of them, but I would like to get to a few of them, fingers crossed. So I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you are enjoying your autumn colouring. Or if you are in the southern hemisphere, of course, it's spring. So completely the opposite. I hope you're enjoying your spring colouring. <laughs> uh, thank you everybody for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.